Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is Mine Where Today I'm going to teach you about erasures of generics. And this is the last thing we're going to go over in generics. And the next tutorial we'll start going over exception handling and after that we'll go over packaging. And then I'm going to only be doing like an API every once in a while. Going over APIs in Java and I'm going to start picking up on C++. So... The first thing I am going to uh, tell you is Erasure is a process that maps parameterized type to its unique bytecode representation by joining type parameters and arguments. And it is also uh, the removal of all information that is related to the type parameters and types type arguments type erasure also adds uh, type checks and type conversions where needed and inserts uh, synthetic bridge methods if necessary so basically what uh, it's saying is if you create something like let's do a list and let's go ahead and put in a string since I already went over this one and you know list is a piece of the API the Java API that involves generics and then we can call this list like X and make it equal to a new array list and then we can put this one in side and now all we have to do is just get the list and we want to get it from the utilities not the AWT so we're gonna go ahead and grab it from that now we have this list and what it's basically saying is that whenever this runs this right here is just denoted by one bytecode whenever you create the generics and also it's saying that whenever you uh, run this when you uh, compile it it takes this and it puts it where it's needed so this list is going to have this string value whenever it's shot over to the list class it's going to pass string into all of the generics inside of it so it will no longer be known as a generic it'll be known as a string and that's basically what it's saying it'll change all that stuff up so it meets the code criteria and the reason that erasure uses this method is because it wants to maintain that compatibility with anything before uh, Java 1.5 and Java 1.5 is where they introduce generics so that's just a brief explanation on what Erasure is. The steps that uh, Erasure takes is, the first step it takes is called alighting type parameters. And this is when the compiler finds the definition of a generic type or method and it removes all occurrences of that type parameter and it replaces them with the leftmost bound or type object if no bound uh, had been specified and then the next step after that is called alighting type arguments and this is when the compiler finds the parameterized type uh, f for instance an instantiation of a generic type then it removes the type argument for instance the type list string uh, in our little example right here are translated to just list so this would actually whenever it gets translated it will look like this and array list will simply just look like array list and that's what it'll look like whenever it gets translated. It will no longer look like this. And that's getting an error because we already have an X. So that's basically what that process is. 
So we have our example before type eraser takes effect and then we have our example after type eraser takes effect. And if you want to check the uh, the information on this, you can get a, compile, a decompiler called JAD. And what it is is a Java decompiler. And what it takes is it takes your class files and it decompiles it back to Java source code. And if you compile this code right here, it'll return this little piece of code right here inside of the decompiler. Uh, you can go ahead and you can check that out. There's a bunch of other terminology that goes over stuff whenever you like create a array. So, not an array, but whenever you create like a method or something inside of it and you give it a uh, generic type. Say if I wanted to do public class, not class, I'm not creating a class. What am I doing here? Can't even think straight. And let's say um, we do something like, um, let's do something like T. And then we'll just make it a void um, bumpkin. bumpkin. I'll just do it like that. And then you could just do something like this and now you have this little T right here so basically whenever it comes through here anything that you do with this T say I do like T T anything you do with this all it's going to do is take this T object and turn it into an actual object like so and if you remember everything comes from the object class so whenever it changes this to an object, you can basically put anything into it. And if you remember, we only use um, generics because it allows restrictions to what we can and cannot put into it. And it also allows for uh, better coding practices. So this all happens at compile time it changes all your methods to this object it removes that it removes these and changes it to this and that's pretty much the extent of what eraser does there's a little bit more that i'm going to go over there now of course if you're using something like bounded uh type parameters if you have something like let's say Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm messing everything up. Nope. Okay. If you have something like T extends number, of course, this right here, whenever it gets translated, it'll be number. And that's how that would work out. So, um, that's all I want to go over on, uh, Eraser, there's a lot more on Eraser, but all of it's going to just be built on this idea. And really, all you really need to know is the idea in my eyes. So, uh, that's all I'm going to go over in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason. This was Lineware. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a great day.